Welcome guys to my village tour. I finally got it finished, so I'm going to do a quick tour of it, which might not end up being quick. But I took a Flatlands map and I I found an NPC village and then I just decided to make it as awesome as I can. So I decided to do like a, uh, a kind of medieval, kind of viney uh, village. Um, that, um, sorry, I'm starting a lot, I'm not that ready for this video, but I made pretty much everything out of stone bricks, so, let's get started. I made this door, just for fun, let me close it behind me, alright, so here's the village, um, we have a few animals roaming around. Um, right here is the town hall with the mayor's office to the right, right here, where it has these shelves, and it goes up into a uh, secret area with villagers in it, just keeping notes and stuff. And then there's even more secret area that's inside of the roof of this place um also guys if you got if any of the things that I built you want a tutorial on which they're pretty simple th things since I didn't have a lot of space in everyone but um if you want any tutorials on any of the houses in here um I'll be happy to do that for you um let's get started with this luxury house it um it has a bathroom with a working toilet except for it closes the door oh it doesn't okay whatever and up here there's a TV that works not really works but I made some antennas for it and it looks pretty cool there's a few chairs in here and pretty much every house or room has a light switch right next to here so they can turn it off when they go to bed which every house is really detailed or to as detailed as I can get um, and here is the library here's the checkout place um, here is just beanbag chairs and a little place to read. Um, here is the what I call like the Skyforge from Skyrim. Here's the blacksmith's place. Um, it's kind of ruined and stuff. Here's where they, you know, smack. I don't even know what I'm talking about, so I'll just go on. Here's the church, or whatever religion you want to say it is. Uh, there's the book that you read at this every day. Um, down here is the another secret place, and we leave that guy down there just because. And here's the bell tower, and it doesn't actually ring, but. And up here is a pretty good view of the village. Um, I'm just going to jump down. Right here is the well. I just put some glowstone in the bottom of it. Um, you could climb up to the top of it. It's not the safest village. If you can see. Um, and here is just one of the minor small houses with a TV up here. A... A refrigerator that a bed sunk down into the ground it's pretty cool um and here is just a uh, a medium sized house it has some shelves with the TV chairs over here and a huge bookcase and down here is the bathroom with a bathtub, the shower head, and the uh, other uh, 
what is it called? Nozzle, I don't know. Um, over here is one of my favorite houses. It's the farmhouse. It has like an open... It has a open living room and kitchen. It looks pretty cool. Up here you could watch from the huge screen. An Xbox is right here. Some music. Um, here are some cabinets. And here's a sink. And just a bunch of uh, places to put your books or spices or whatever. Another refrigerator and stuff. Here's the bedroom with a lapis shower. Um, yeah. Now I made all of these houses like not to be perfect because it's supposed to look like medieval. Like the roofs aren't um perfectly squared or rounded. Um, here's the wheat, the pumpkins, and the melons. And here's the cows and the mushroom, the chickens, and the sheep. Um, I'll just fly over here. Right in here is the jail with two guys. I don't know what they did, but they're in jail. It's built into the side of the walls, and this is just for decoration. And pretty much all of the exits have been blocked off just because you don't want anybody roaming around where it's not safe. In here is the movie theater where the guy sells tickets, which are not arrows. Um, here's the two movies that are showing the sheep and his friend and the other one is not appropriate it's just a joke but yeah here's the popcorn all of your other concession stand stuff um, and next is the this is the back of the cafe which is a little park but I'm gonna go in here, which is the, what is it called, the grocery store. It has the checkout line with the, what is it called, the little conveyor belt, all of the frozen food in here, and the other groceries. Um, And back here is the uh, bakery where they have all the food, well, baked goods and stuff. I noticed that there aren't a lot of villagers around. I don't know what happened to them. And back here is the graveyard, just normal old-fashioned graves. And here is a kind of weird house. It's diagonal and I kind of had trouble fitting everything in to it but I got it done and I think it looks really good there's the chandelier which is kind of floating oops and here's another oh look it he's taking a shower actually this guy has been here forever every time I come into this house he's taking a shower he's kind of weird Maybe he's a germaphobe. And here is the McDonald's or the uh, Starbucks, I guess you could say, not McDonald's. And they have the coffees here, the refrigerator for like cold coffee. Out here is more tables and stuff. Here's a villager just sitting at a table. I guess they're all over here. I don't know what happened. This place is kind of overpopulated. I can't even get through them. And here's a small kitchen. 
Oh god. Here's a little desk. What the heck is going on? All of the NPCs love this house. Holy crap. It's got a big bedroom. I'm just gonna leave them to that. There's a bookcase. I like uh, shelves. Alright, I'm gonna get out of there. This is the house I built for my friend. He kinda told me what to build. It has this really cool window that I like. Um, this guy's just watching TV. And over here's some shelves and another kitchen. And back here is his bedroom with the music. Lots of bookcases, which we call the uh, stash, if you know what I mean. <laughs> back here, or right here, is the statue of King Test the Sixth, which is just a big statue of uh, the King Testificate at the time. And here's just a little, um, little pond thing so they could walk around in. They still have security over here with the iron golems. In here, here's the the square in room starting at one emerald a night. And then it has like a pricing system, a small room, a medium room, and the penthouse is four emeralds. Each room is pretty much like this except for the second level. They all have pretty good views. Up here, there's a pool table, some books to read, and a nice view of the city. And this is the second level. This is the biggest room with the double bed. One time, I actually found two testificates just jumping up and down in the bed, and I then they both saw me and they were like, why aren't you watching us have sex? And I just walked away slowly. It was pretty funny. Great, now it's raining. It's not going to be that bad. So, here's the public toilet, bathroom, um, and sink. Some houses don't have bathrooms, which... It's pretty bad, but there wasn't enough si space, so it's just like a porta potty. Up uh, here's a pretty big house, except for it has a pretty small bedroom. And here's a pretty cool house. It has a computer that you can sit by. Right here is a. Actually, it's a double computer. This is my house, which I like a lot. It's got in here. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna start the next video. Um. All right. Just one second. All right.